Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a mobile for a crib. So I took some wire that I bent up to make the base and I'm using some curling ribbon to hang it up. I've attached a little decoration of curling ribbon in the middle, which I'm going to go ahead and finish curling, show you how to do that. You take your scissors and you put the ribbon against the blade of the scissor. Be careful if children are helping you and you pull it like that. And you just go ahead and do that to all of the pieces of ribbon and it gives a nice festive little effect. The main purpose of a crib mobile is to stimulate the baby visually. You do not want them to be able to reach it though because it could be dangerous, especially unattended. So you want to make sure that you hang it close enough that they can see it but without, out of their reach. Also, a mistake a lot of people make is they put up a uh, mobile that is going to be aesthetically pleasing to the people standing in the room, but not to the baby. It doesn't matter if it looks good to the person standing here. The baby is looking up at it, so the items that you're suspending should be facing the baby like this. That's the main purpose of the mobile. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this silk flower and I'm just going to turn the wire like this to make it look like these, just a little spiral to hook it onto the ribbon. And I'm going to go ahead and tie my ribbon in here. And the excess, I'm going to, again, curl. You can trim it off if you want to, whatever you prefer. Curling ribbon is a great craft resource because it's relatively inexpensive and it just gives such a nice festive touch. So I'm going to attach this to this uh, hook that I bent in the wire. And there you have a cute little mobile with the items facing the baby for a crib. My name is Linda Hutchinson. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.